Excellent. To what extent, Professor Mearsheimer, uh, do you believe the Ukrainian far right stops the government in Kiev from cutting a deal with the Russians? I think that when Zelensky ran for president, he made it very clear that he wanted to work out an arrangement with Russia that ended the crisis in Ukraine. And he won. And what he then tried to do was move toward implementing the Minsk II agreement. If you were going to shut down the conflict in Ukraine, you had to implement Minsk II. And Minsk II meant giving the Russian speaking and the ethnic Russian population in the easternmost part of Ukraine, the Donbass region, a significant amount of autonomy. And you had to make you, uh, the Russian language an official language of Ukraine once again. That had to be done. I think Zelensky found out very quickly that because of the Ukrainian right, it was impossible to implement Minsk II. Therefore, even though the French and the Germans, and of course the Russians, were very interested in making Minsk II work because they wanted to shut down the crisis, they couldn't do it. In other words, the Ukrainian right was able to stymie Zelensky on that front. Now, Zelensky understands that if he cuts a deal with Russia today, he has to face the Ukrainian right. That's why Zelensky has said that any peace agreement has to be approved by the Ukrainian public. He's going to ask for a referendum because Zelensky understands that he cannot take the Ukrainian right on by himself. So basically, we have a situation where Zelensky is stymied. Now, very importantly, the Americans will side with the Ukrainian right because the Americans and the Ukrainian right both do not want Zelensky cutting a deal with the Russians that makes it look like the Russians won. So this is the principal reason uh, I'm very uh, pessimistic about Ukraine's ability to help shut this one down. 